Hi everyone, how is it going? Back again with me, Princess Taja, and today we're going to find out how do men perceive you and what are these men's personalities. Now, in front of you, there are three pictures. I have Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, or Knight of Wands. I want you to imagine someone, anyone. We're going to find out today what are these men's personalities and how do men perceive you? Pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Please remember you are welcome to pick more than one picture for or one group for additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hi guys, group number one, it's me, Princess Tasha. Today we're going to find out how do men perceive you and what are these men's personalities. So if you're not sure yet about the instruction of this reading, uh, today we're going to imagine anyone in your mind and we're going to find out their personalities, okay? And after that, we're going to find out how do they perceive you? How do men perceive you? And what are these men's personalities? Okay, since you're picking group number one, you have Knight of Cups. Okay. Um... Let's find out first. This man's personalities. For my viewers that pick group number one, please show me the Knight of Cups personalities of group number one, please. Please let us know the Knight of Cups of our group number one personalities, please. Okay, group number one, you have two of wands, you have the chariot, you have four of cups, and you have nine of cups. Okay. And you have Moon and House 8. You have Two of Pentacles, you have Six of Cups, and you have Four of Cups. Okay. It is very interesting. Let me tell you. Um, let's start this with their personalities, okay? This person, um, this man personalities. I think, I feel, I think and I feel that, uh, now before I begin, please be mindful that this is general reading. So take what resonates, okay? 
because it applies to a lot of different people that will watch this video. So this person, this man, actually very sensitive. You probably realize from the time you spend time with this person that they might not say it out loud, they might not be the loudest in the room, but they kind of have a sensitive side about them, sensitive heart too, I have to say. I think this person, this man, they're such a charming person. They have the charm that they used to have to get what they want, like jobs, a position in the office, a pay raise, uh, get getting to know someone new, including probably getting close with you. Okay? I feel that this man really in touch with their emotion. This person has a lot of cups here, Knight of Cups, nine of cups six of cups and even double four of cups four of cups coming in conjunction with another four of cups i truly feel and also the moon i truly feel that this man actually really in touch with his emotion such an emotional person now that could be good that could be bad it depends on their attitude okay they truly actually understand a little bit of how you feel without you telling them how you feel because they're so in touch with their own emotion some of them truly have some sort of water sign in their birth chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Especially with the moon also, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, for their sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus, North Node, Mars. Okay. They also actually uh, very romantic in nature. Very romantic though, honestly. very romantic person i mean they cannot make things up and they cannot fake around but i truly see how they try to be romantic to you or if they have some sort of romantic interest to you they're gonna show it with a tender way with their attention uh with them really care of uh how you're doing today or how 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 you feel okay um I feel also that this man making you feel relaxed around them. The Six of Cups, you know? They make you feel relaxed. They make you feel accepted. Um, it seems like they're such a good friend too. I truly see here. They can be a good friend for you. Or they're your friend, co-workers, or childhood friends, high school friend. Uh, friends in the gym, neighborhood, you know, this is uh, starting from a friend, from platonic relationship, you know. I see some of them becoming romantic relationship or have some sort of crush on you or romantic interest, but it's all from platonic for this girl, okay? It's all from uh, being a colleague, being a friend, being a co-worker, you know, being a school friend, something like that. But I truly see some of you work together with this person. So it could be your coworker or your boss, that's possible, or your supervisor. But the way that they treat you is truly uh, making you feel relaxed and secured around them. Especially relaxed. You can be yourself around them, in front of them, okay? You don't have to fake things around. You don't have to pretend that you like something, but you can just be yourself. You know, they really appreciate of how you, being open to them, you know, of your uh, like and dislike, and you just be yourself around around this person. So this man personality, they're someone that truly um, opening themselves to new connection. You know, they're charming. Um, and there's someone that bring this sense of uh, nostalgia and uh, such a playful person. So probably you exchange banter with this person or joke around, uh, watching comedy movie together or something that is funny, okay?
Now, I feel that this man, when they feel like the feeling is not reciprocated or they feel like they don't like something, they tend to withdraw. Four of Cups. They tend to withdraw, okay? Especially it's coming in conjunction. So yes, this is like kind of one of their personalities that's probably hidden, okay? So this is also including something that you probably don't know. It is hidden because they're just not open to you, but we're going to reveal it here. So one of their personalities is the Four of Cups, you know. The Four of Cups is uh, someone that indifferent, someone that have this withdrawal, someone that passive, someone that not going to take action. So when they feel like they're not feeling comfortable yet or they don't know yet about the next move, they tend to take time you know it takes time with them you cannot rush them that's one of the thing that you probably pay attention you know you cannot rush this person it seems like you need to give the ideas to this person and then they're the one that gonna come to you and uh, tell you what they think about it but the funny things about it is they have the chariot with it they have the chariot even though they have a uh, four of cups and four of cups here Okay. When they feel like they have different perspective with somebody else, they're not going to force their own perspective, but instead they choose to just keep it for themselves. A lot of things until they're sure that the feeling is reciprocated that their feeling is mutual because six of cups is the feeling of nostalgia playfulness feeling very relaxed and welcome you know need mutual effort need mutual balance energy here and so then that's what i see here with this person but after they're sure you know after they're sure about their move about this relationship or uh, their next move you know after they're sure about themselves they becoming this chariot that moving fast they will take action they will move so they're not someone that just gonna be passive they're just gonna wait uh, the time to come they're gonna ask whether you are interested in them or not but they're also gonna pay attention to you observe you and try to find out whether you guys on the same page or not once they find out that you guys bring some sort of six of cups feeling inside the, their heart you know they're gonna move fast as the chariot because at the end of the day their personality they're the nine of cups they love to get what they dream of. They love to get what they desire. And most of the time, they're going to use their charm. They're charming. They're basically such a charming person. But the Knight of Cups also someone that is kindness, especially with the Six of Cups. This is about kindness. You know, this is about feeling a very friendly, friendly relationship, feeling very welcome. So whenever they like someone, uh, especially if this person is their Nine of Cups, dreams come true, something like that, or wish fulfillment, they're going to take time, you know, take time to observe this person, not right away uh, grabbing the cup that being offered to them. Okay, look at this man's expression. They're like, think about it first. Okay, think about it first. But the Nine of Cups truly giving me sense of confidence in this uh, man because this personality of this man's actually there's someone that really know how to please their partner or their spouse they really know how to make someone smile especially with their charm with their kindness and there's someone that truly satisfy with their life so they're gonna work so hard put their focus on their mission they love looking good they love appearing uh, very good they love showing it off they love showing off their talent skills their cars or everything that they achieved from their own hard work okay so i truly see this is such a hardworking person probably some of them very educated but most of them here with the knight of cups if you pick this group this person either you knew it or not maybe it's hidden but they're actually charming they're actually very charming because they got the knight of cups here because they have the they have the personality of the knight of cups now with the nine of cups here it seems like this connection with him is like wish fulfillment they truly desire having someone that they can call their wish 
uh, fulfillment. They, they can call that their dreams come true, you know. And uh, having someone to be by their side like this is such a wish come true, I think. Uh, this person have a personality that they easily to please. They're satisfied with their hard work and they're so proud of it. Uh, they attract abundance. So you, they love showing it to the world that they're happy. Knight of Cups, okay? They love showing their happy emotion. But, but this is the funny things. When they feel the opposite, they tend to withdraw. Four of Cups, okay? Especially Four of Cups coming in conjunction with another Four of Cups. They tend to withdraw their feelings. Now with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Again, this is, you know, number two, two, two. And then four, four, four. With the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, I truly feel that this person, someone that is a great planner. They're also someone with a great potential. And they will uh, take everything in front of their face to the best of their ability. So someone that is so diligent, an opportunist. That's their personality, okay? An opportunist. Um... You know, with the two of ones, they're opportunists. They're gonna hold the world with their hand. They're not gonna afraid about it. They admit that they love a good life. They want to afford a good life. And there's someone that is flexible, okay? So they're easy going here. Someone that is easy going, someone that is flexible, and they're multitasking. So they can do different things. They have different kind of interest. Maybe some of them really love cars or dressing up like this or football or even basketball. Um, you know, some of them got a muscle here um, or they're just very good in their business or their job you know very professional too but i truly see that with this card two of ones they're an opportunist they're willing to take everything that will give them benefit which is good this is a very assertive personality and with the two of pentacles they're so flexible you know they try to manage everything and they want to afford a good life though okay they want to have a good life and but there's someone that sometimes they hide something inside their heart but they really know how to connect with you from the emotion you know they really know it that's the good thing about this person they really know it so this Knight of Cups of yours, whoever this person is, they really know it, how to make some sort of emotional connection with you. Okay, emotional connection with you. Now with the House of Eight, this is about transformation, karma, facing fears, and legacy. Karma. Probably this person used to live with you in past life, if you believe in past life. Um, this person also someone that really want to change their life for better or already success or in the middle of changing their life uh, to be better. Okay, that's what I see here uh, from your group. This is like their personalities. Of course, this is a very general reading. Okay, uh, but that's... Uh, this man's personalities. Now, let's go ahead um, and see how do... Knight of Cups of yours perceive you. How do men perceive you? Okay. Let me just move all the cards. How do men perceive you? You, for my viewers, let pick group number one, please. Material attachment, too much focus on visible trapping. Look at this. Material attachment, but he also stand in front of his car. That's all also about material. So look at this man behind her. It's him. So I think that this man perceive you as someone that, that is uh, look very sophisticated okay you look very sophisticated you really care about your finance you really care about your spouse finance okay you really care about that you really want to have a spouse or partner that is materially secured 
How do men perceive you, group number one? Self-love. So, this Knight of Cups perceive you as someone that willing to give self-love to yourself. Love yourself first. Yes. You tell them probably how you want to be treated. Your standard, you know, uh, your habit, your style. So, you're not going to let anybody just come and go whenever they please. Okay? You set the standard. And you show love to yourself first. You show love to yourself, group number one. That's how they perceive you. That's how men perceive you here. Memories. I remember we got six of cups. Memories. You bring some sort of uh, memories inside their life. So it is possible that this man feel like the vu. Okay? Uh feel like the javu feel like uh they had some sort of special moment with you creating beautiful moment together uh probably you guys share memories together you um turn on all beautiful things that they wish they could have about you okay they dream about you a lot and in their dream they kind of like having these beautiful memories with you because you got this card, memories card, and men perceive you as someone that give them beautiful memories. And they want to cherish their memories with you, regardless of how long you guys in relationship, or even this is just probably just a crush, you know? They cherished probably you guys worked together in the past, or even went to school together, or went to some sort of club together, okay? Or uh, had kind of like relationship for a brief period of time, or um, one night stand, or um, you already have a spouse, or maybe this is ex-boyfriend, or still your uh, current partner, okay? They kind of like cherish all the memories with you because it's just so sweet. Like, they really love that you're beautiful, gorgeous, and sexy, okay? Past life relationship, I can't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> group number one. Wow, you have known each other before. I just can't. We literally talked about this earlier. If you believe in past life, yes, this person and you, you guys have known each other before. Honestly, though, this is what they desired to have with you. They perceived you as someone from past life, someone that they wish they could have. Wow, very powerful. This is very powerful, guys. <laughs> Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So it is possible that this is new person, okay? Probably this is not your ex. Probably this is new person. In order for you to have relationship with him, you need to release your ex from your vibration, from your energy. The time has come to clear your energy. Or not just your ex, another crush, or, you know, it's just outside energy. You know, to clear that, to uh, prepare for a new connection, a new relationship, even though you already knew this person, okay? But uh, to clear the energy, meaning is you take uh, actively taking action to just clear your vibes, clear your energy from past relationship or past energy that's still um, around you or, you know, by just... Cleaning all their stuff, throwing it all, you know, and start to see a new door open with the Knight of Cups. Divine guidance. Yes, I think this relationship is from the divine. It's like meant to be. It's like fated connection. That's what I feel here. They perceive you as someone that is sent from heaven. Someone that they wish they could have. Someone that they want to be in a relationship whispers from the beings who shine let their message be clear and kind define guidance yes i truly see that this person truly see this connection with you as something that from the divine you know you are like uh, from the divine you're like being here for a reason and um there's a reason why um you know you guys uh, know each other why you guys uh, met each other okay that's possible for uh, some of you.
seven of wands. You are gorgeous. You're sexy. There's this something about you that is so magnetic. Look at her. Isn't she so mysterious and sexy at the same time? So this man, this Knight of Cups, this man perceive you as someone that is magnetic, attractive. You have this fiery, passionate energy and it's just unexplainable. But it seems like they really adore you and you know how to play with them. You know how to flirt, okay? They perceive you as a great flirt, someone that know how to flirt. You know how to play around, you know how to flirt, you know how to romance. You're such a sexy person, very mysterious, but also you have this kind of like fiery, passionate energy that you keep it hidden or just too shy to show it off right now. Or, you know, you truly give them signals, okay? So they perceive you as someone that give them signals that you're interested in them. And, you know, um, they perceive you as uh, someone, men perceive you as someone that are uh, beautiful and know how to flirt, and know how to naturally feel, flirt with men, naturally play in the game and be so gorgeous and so sexy and they like it they love it they even love their encounter to with you in the past you know maybe it's just crush maybe they just banter with you but they had some sort of sexual attraction with you because you guys past life relationship and the seven of wands is so sexy memories sexy memories so i truly feel very passionate or fiery with this group because i get a sense i sense you guys a sexual attraction here very strong okay very attractive they perceive you as an attractive person with the seven of wands absolutely you know you probably have some sort of fire sign in your birth chart Aries, leo sagittarius but doesn't have to be that way when you got this card it means that you just have this fiery passionate sexy attractive personality so they perceive you as someone that is sexy gorgeous that they're really so curious about you even though they already know you but they just so curious of your personality it seems like um you really know how to have fun you really know how to flirt and you really know how to love someone and give them hope that's the thing you give them hope you give them signals okay so this king's uh, this knight of cups sorry this knight of cups perceive you as someone that is seven of wands so give them hope playing around flirting and love them like you want this to you want and you're attracted also to them so that's how uh, they perceive you group number one this is a general reading if you want personal reading or private reading just for you please click the link in the description box below you can book me for private reading thanks for watching group number one um please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content subscribe to the channel so you will not miss any future readings from me and don't forget to ring the bell too all right thanks for watching group number one i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye hi group number two to welcome back to my channel with me princess tasha today we're going to find out how do men perceive you and what are these men's personalities okay so if you don't understand the instru instructions of this reading um you're going to imagine someone anyone we're going to find out what are these men's personalities Okay, and also for the second part of the reading, we're going to find out how do these men perceive you. Let's start first by finding out their personalities. Okay, group number two, you have four of pentacles. Okay. For my viewers, let's pick group number two. What are these men's personalities, please? What are these men personalities for my viewers? That be group number two, please. Mm. 
because sometimes you're gonna find out something that is hidden you know maybe they're just too shy to show it to you or you you already know or something that you want to know so let's find out here thank you you have death you have nine of cups you have queen of cups and you have two of wands okay you also have three of swords you have the empress and you have six of wands you have house one mm -hmm. and you have house four 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 synchronicities okay four pentacles house four anyway group number two i feel that I feel that this man really care about their self image. Oh yeah. They really care. Um When we're talking the energy of pentacles is the material energy you know uh four of pentacles is about someone that a little bit possessive so that's their personality they have a possessive a little bit possessive personalities okay this person right like they're so territorial they really protect what they have they're such a protective person so you will feel secured near them you will feel that they really care about you or they show that they care you know for some of you so whenever this person has a partner a spouse family they're really taking care of that person so this man their personality is someone that is caring but a little bit possessive okay yes they're caring but they're a little bit possessive here because with this card four of pentacles I kind of feel that they actually really, really care a lot about what other people think of them. They really are so protective of their resources. They're so selective of their energy. This person really care though about how the world see them as a person. There's someone that achieve a lot of great things already or achieve milestones in life or basically making them feel secured. They want to feel secured financially because they got four of pentacles. So that's like their personalities. I think some of them, probably this person, this personality of this person, they have a very strong earth sign in their birth chart. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Neptune, Scorpio, mm, North Node, mm, Saturn, probably uh, in the Earth sign. Doesn't have to be that way, but it's for some of uh, them, okay? Please be mindful that this is gen general reading, so take what resonates and just uh, leave uh, other things behind. But Four of Pentacles, that's their personality, their main personality. 
their main character personality they aware these men so they're aware or this person aware truly aware what he has achieved in life and he really wants to protect her belongings he really wants to protect his belonging and her belonging if you're in relationship with this person they really are so care of what you have you know maybe they care about your cars they're taking care of you about health insurance something like that okay and they protect it sometime though when they feel intimidated or when they feel not secured they tend to isolate themselves so that's the thing about this person you know isolate themselves and becoming a little bit possessive i don't see any jealousy no no it's not about jealousy it's just feeling protective protective of what they have they even though they look like they're friendly but they actually maintain distance with people in their heart they're not just trusting anyone you know it's hard for them to trust people actually with the four of pentacles so they keep people at distance because for them trust is earned slowly and with time two of wands i think this person personality is someone that will take opportunities they hold the world by their hand there's someone that is opportunist they will take everything in front of them just to raise their life better so this is very uh passionate fiery energy probably they have aries leo sagittarius with the two of wands they know that they are someone that other people wish could be in relationship so this person truly got their dreams come true, truly achieve many great things in life or about to achieve or will achieve or this person truly active, truly business minded, truly creative and truly such a hardworking person to the point that they achieve their desire or they will achieve their desire, their dreams come true, okay? But through that, they need to have some sort of transformation maybe this person knew you in the past maybe this is the high school friend uh, your ex coworkers ex boss ex supervisor or someone that you you used to know in the past and you kind of surprised knowing that they have something going on in their life right now or they have a glow up okay so they're changing they have a transformation moment they have a rebirth with this death card this is about rebirth about changing jaw dropping moments they got a glow up so that's their personality they're willing to go to the hard things just to be the four of pentacles just to look very handsome look very sophisticated look very accomplished they have a lot of values in their mind look at their eyes Look at this person's eye. Their eyes telling me that they know a lot of different things and they want to protect their trophies. Okay? That's like one of their personalities. Now, with the Queen of Cups here, I feel that this person is actually very loving, very caring. Okay? And they have their feminine side that they really know. Um, how to make you feel secured, how to make you feel nurtured in relationship. Or not just you, anyone that they are in relationship with, they really know because they really care and aware of their accomplishment. They're aware of what other people actually desire. They're really aware about the earthly things. They have some sort of grounded energy about them. This is truly an earth sign, have a very strong earth dominant element in their birth chart. Three of swords. This is someone that know in life they're going to have some sort of broken heart, but they're not afraid about it. They know it. They admit it. That's their personalities. I think for them, failure is not an excuse to reach what they want in life, you know, to falling in love. Three of swords. They know it. This is someone that will take a risk. They might look like, you know, picky but they're four of pentacles they really care about material belongings they knew that life is also has three of swords in it and they're not afraid about it they're okay with it value is not an excuse they still learn from it because they know that they are the six of ones victory 
when the six of wands coming in conjunction with the four of pentacles, they achieved, they won something, or they about to win something, and they're gonna protect it. Either it's material, it milestone, pay raise, get a home, get a new home, car, something like that, or even career, or you just, you know, accomplish some sort of, get a degree, something like that. That's uh, how I feel from this group because there are the six of ones this is the card about winning about victory so that's their personality they have a winner personality they're so competitive four of pentacles they protect what they have but they're so competitive and they win it they're really good in competition in not showing other people that they are bothered they're unbothered they have unbothered personality it seems like it's hard for other people to knock them down or make them feel insecure. It's hard. And whenever they had a broken heart, three of swords, they're not going to show it. They're not going to show it. They're becoming someone that pretend that they're strong, even though they cried inside, even though they hurt inside. But that's because they know that life is also about three of swords sometimes. And there's nothing that they can do to stop it. They can prevent it. If it's happened, it's okay because they're going to win, win, win. They've been through reform transformation here, rebirth. They hurt and they're born again and they win. Because they always use all opportunities in front of them. That's their personalities. They love it. They love adventure. This is someone that loves going for adventure. They love uh, investing in stock market. They love going to like gala dinner. They love treating other people to nice restaurant or it's just about romantic date. This someone truly have a class. Four of Pentacles. This person, they have personality that is, that is so elegant. This person has an elegant personality. Very masculine. There is this royal regal vibes about them. Even though they don't have a car in the picture like this like other groups, okay? But they have the most trophies of them all. They have four and they're protected. So this is someone that truly know how to maintain and manage their finance really well. Mm -hmm. The Empress, they're so creative. They're so creative, I have to tell you that. They're so creative. They really know how to inspire people around them. They know how to to you know create something that is just everlasting they know how to protect what they create you know and feeling very positive about their project about their job this is someone that is so proud of what they do in life their job their career their study their profession their side hustle uh, their house project their diy okay this is like a diy person house of one house one this is about individuality, self-image, and approach to life. There's someone that really care about their image. Not so about what other people think about their image, but their image as a whole, what they think about their image. They really care about themselves. So for them, the most important thing is how they think about themselves, not how other people think about them, which is really good. Okay, this is someone that has this confidence. They're so confident. That's their personality. Their confidence because they know. Even alone, even with their individuality, they can grow. They can learn something. They really appreciate their lesson in the past. This is a good student. This is a good person. If you went to school with this person, maybe they have a good grades or they're just so diligent. Even though they failed in the exam, they try it again, try it again, and then they pass. You got some sort of inspiration from this person. They really are someone that truly, really are so in touch with their earth element really show some sort of earth element personalities okay like capricorn virgo taurus very grounded very sensual very hard-working person someone that is uh, really uh, care about beauty art and material abundance okay have to say that and their approach to life is all about them you know they put themselves as a center of uh, the universe not being narcissistic not not at all you know it means that it is important for them to experience to experience what the world can offer to them from the first point of view you know fpv you know first point of view so how they truly see the world is really important for them now if they truly see a future in someone they're gonna pursue it because they want to win it okay house four 
cultural and family roots, home, peace and comfort. Yes, this someone really want to have a house or they probably already have a house or plan to have apartment or have a house, really want to have a secure family life. They really care about their ancestor, tradition, family, such a family person and also someone that really respect other people culture. They also someone that love their culture even more, you know, like tradition. Uh, ancestors um you know religion okay for some of them they also really care about their religion or spiritual practices now let's find out now how your four of pentacles man perceive you okay how this uh four of men uh, four of pentacles man perceive you for my viewers that pick group number two, how do men perceive you, group number two? How these four of pentacles men perceive you? You have signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. Signs and clue. We talked about it earlier. They knew that you gave signs to them. They can read the signs and clue. They perceive you as someone that giving them signs and clue that you have some sort of romantic interest in them. Okay? Friend zone. Yes, this is someone that gonna observe relationship. They're gonna see whether uh, it's a match met in heaven or not. And they're gonna approach this relationship from like friendship point of view first. Just so then they can be very comfortable uh, to talk anything with you to find out your character's personality. So they love to start everything from platonic relationship or business relationship, okay? Discernment. They truly perceive you as someone, men truly perceive you as someone that is so careful. Uh, they think that you're someone that is so careful with your feeling. You're not just going to give away um, yourself to anybody else. You and him or you and this four of pentacles kind of have a similarities in a sense that it takes time for you to trust someone romantically, you know, and you're so careful with your feelings because you experienced like a heartbreak in the past and you just want to um, go with the flow of life, okay? Just enjoy this connection first and see uh, how this connection going to go in the future. Oops. Love yourself first. This man perceive you as someone that show your love by respecting yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they perceive you as someone that is so attractive. Why? Because you show some love to yourself first. That's what I see here, okay? That's what this person uh, perceive you. They perceive you as a very attractive person. Uh, you're very attractive and with this discernment, you're absolutely very seductive. You have this uh, siren energy about you that is just alluring. You're such an alluring person. And for this four of pentacles man, they perceive you also as a healing family issue. Your love life benefit as you forgive your parents. They perceive you as someone that has daddy issue, mommy issue, or abandonment issue. And you try to heal yourself from it. You accept your situation. And, you know, they perceive you as someone that wants to heal yourself too in the relationship, you know, in the childhood trauma, something like that. Honeymoon. They perceive you as someone that they want to have a romantic trip together. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You are a great traveler. They perceive you as someone that is a great traveler. They fantasize of having honeymoon with you or romantic uh, trip somewhere, okay? This is absolutely someone that truly have a little bit naughty um, fantasy with you in like on the beach or on the ship or on the romantic cities, in romantic cities, okay? Somewhere where you guys can just be the two of you and they can truly enjoy enjoy your body or having fun with you romantic trip together so they perceive you as someone that they would like to have they would like to ask you out for romantic a trip somewhere okay dream sweet sleep dream yes they dream about you honestly though they perceive you as someone that is a dreams come true especially we got the nine of uh cups earlier okay um the nine of cups earlier um and with the dream sweet sleep deep yes 
sleep that's deep and last till morn wondrous dreams for days reborn i think that this person dream about you a lot though they perceive you as someone that came from their dreams i think that's what i see here okay it seems like this person um tried to make contact with you through sleep they think about you before they go to bed i think because that's why you appear here in the reading not gonna surprise with that because they're like four of pentacles they want to even protect their dreams okay like having that great memory queen of wands wow <laughs> you're the queen of wands for them they perceive you as the queen of wands very attractive you know queen of wands is very passionate and fiery very attractive you really know how to dress up they really are attractive to your legs to your body to your lips especially you look very attractive adorable and very um how do i say that very juicy okay you look very classic they got the classic vibes from you a classic beauty your beauty is classic regardless of your age regardless of your gender and how you look you know you have this beautiful uh persona they love your body you love your legs here somebody legs is pretty here for them okay imagine this look at this they're so attractive with you they have some sort of sexual attraction here queen of wands very sexual they even imagine to kiss your lips okay that's what i got here you have judgment yeah 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 <laughs> so this person a group number two this man this four of pentacles uh perceive you as someone that is um winning in life you got your justice okay you're someone that not afraid no look at this look at this she holds trophy he holds trophy so they perceive you as a power couple they perceive you as a powerful person someone that is smart someone that is strategic someone that know their plan know their move you're a good person you're a powerful person they really want to have this power couple imagination so their fantasy is kind of like having power couple imagination maybe you guys work together have business together create small business together uh, building a home together have a kids together you know becoming a power couple Having this connection with someone that truly understand their feelings, understand their ambition, because their personality is also someone that is ambitious. That's what I see here with the Four of Pentacles. But they perceive you as their counterpart, as someone that truly can complete them. Because for some reason, you understand how they be can become this very ambitious person and you're not judging. Judgment. Instead, you're not judging. Exactly. You win in their heart because she like holding the card said winner. Look at that. Winner. Okay? Like they really want to have connection with you. They see you as someone that is winning to like them. You probably have some same culture probably okay or same religion same spiritual practice or even same understanding probably you're not from same uh, culture that's possible it doesn't matter but there's this similarity between you and them like way of life same lifestyle same principle you know you see the world the approach to life is kind of like the same from the material perspective from uh, you know really protective of what you guys have and non-judgmental okay you admit it that you love luxury things beautiful things and so are they that's what i see here uh from this group group number two this reading is pretty general reading if you want a private reading just for you please click the link in the description box below you can book me for private personal reading thanks for watching group number two please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching group number two and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye hello group number three welcome back to my channel back again with me princess tacha with a new video 
For this video, we're going to find out how do men perceive you and what are these men's personalities, okay? So if you don't understand the instruction of the reading today, um, basically, I want you to imagine, please imagine someone, anyone, okay? That maybe you have some sort of romantic interest or, you know, whatever okay and for the first part of the reading we're going to find out what are these men's personalities and for the second part of the reading we're going to find out how do men how these men actually perceive you okay and since you're picking group number three you have knight of wands so we're going to find out um this Knight of Wands personalities. For my viewers that pick group number three, please. How do men perceive you? And what are these men personalities? What are these Knight of Wands of group number three personalities, please? Okay. All right. Group number three, you have Ace of Swords. You have the Star. You have King of Pentacles, you have strength. You have here Three of Wands, you have here Judgment, and you have Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have also Virgo and Arias. Okay, right off the bat, group number three. Let's find out for the first part of the reading, what are these men personalities, okay? The Knight of Wands, your Knight of Wands. So this whole cards is all about his personalities. And on the second part of the reading, we're going to find out how do this Knight of Wands perceive you, okay? So, right off the bat, I truly feel that uh, some of them, the Knight of Wands, they are someone that... Such a romantic person. Daring. No wonder strength coming in conjunction with the Knight of Wands. They're romantic. They believe in the traditional romantic things. So they love to court you. So this is someone that gonna run after you. The Knight of Wands is a jarring horse woman. Jumping through a ring of fire and look at him. He bring flowers. He bring love, you know. Um, there's this flames, passionate person. So I feel that this person, their personality is, um, there's someone that is passionate. There's someone that is romantic, someone that is sexy and gorgeous, handsome. Someone that truly has this confidence and charisma, very charismatic person. Someone that is also has passion, 
So they're going to follow their passion. If their passion is you, they're going to follow you. They're going to pursue you. They love it. Now, especially when the Knight of Wands coming in conjunction with Strength and also Aries here. I feel that there's someone that truly have passion. Again, the passion card. So maybe they have some sort of a fire sign in their birth chart. That's possible. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially also with the Strength card here, they have bravery. They're brave enough to pursue their desire, including their romantic desire, okay? They probably also ha uh, have some sort of Leo in their birth chart. That's possible. With the Knight of Wands here, group number three, I feel that they love exploring connection, they love adventure, but at the same time, in their core energy, they actually a very traditional person. Knight of Wands. They just look very daring, look very adventurous, and uh, probably they're adventurous, okay? But they're also very romantic at heart. So whenever they promise something, they kind of want to fulfill their promise. I truly feel some sort of a royal, regal presence here. Very royal, very regal. Someone that uh, gonna pursue their loved ones. You know, King of Pentacles look very abundant. This person, this man, look very abundant. This person inside your mind, okay? The one that you think of. They probably have some sort of romantic interest in you. So whenever they like someone, they try to show it with act of service. I truly see you. Okay, they're gonna court you, ask you out, bring you on a romantic date, uh, book vacation or trip with you. They try to show it through action. Three of Wands, again, Wands energy, passionate, adventurous, traveler. They love traveling. They're such an adventurous person with the Three of Wands. They truly realize that in life they want to explore the world. Now I truly see here, um, they're falling in love with someone that they met through vacation. It is also possible that you guys plan to have romantic vacation together or it comes into their mind that they want to spend time with you on the beach or on a cruise something related to romantic vacation or a resort that's possible okay with the judgment here actually they're not judgmental they're non-judgmental person they're someone that um really believe in keeping it clean keeping it open so they open to new possibilities new opportunities but at the same time they don't want to hurt other people's feelings because they believe in what goes around comes around judgment they want to get their judgment clean. They want to win in the game, but game in a fair game. Okay, they want to win fair game. With the Knight of Wands, I believe that this person truly have a very daredevil personality. Okay, someone that love adrenaline, someone that love roller coasters, something like that, cars, fast cars, or you know, uh, theme parks, or just love adventure. You know. Uh, water sport you name it they are their devil okay you might not have devil card here but if the, but it doesn't matter you know they have this their devil adventurous personality they love cars they love looking good they love their personality they love how they look they want to truly uh adore you so there's someone they're gonna adore their partner or their crush there's someone they're gonna let you know if they like you they're gonna pursue you full force Aries. they're so independent they're brave and they have big passion so a passionate person at the same time they're grounded they have king of pentacles this is pentacles energy they're so grounded maybe they have uh, earth element in their birth chart that's possible because you also have virgo here integrity reverence and surface so yeah whenever they love someone this knight of wands they will do or show their love by doing act of service so that's one of their love language now with the king of pentacles here i feel that um this person their personality is someone that um a business-minded person you know the king of pentacles um looks the part of the smart businessman look at this okay he stands confidently on a deer's antlers, being able to handle every problem masterfully. 
The deer is a symbol of strength, leadership, and manliness, and also connects the king with the natural environment. Three golden coins with the imprint of Caesar symbolize the king's financial success. So with this card, I, I want to tell you that their personality is whenever they achieve something, they're going to show it to the world, not uh, to show it off, not to be cocky, but to feel proud of themselves. Like they're just working hard for it. I truly see and feel that this man, their personality, personality your knight of wands is someone that is hardworking and they're also generous with their energy. So they really also have a great management skills. In fact, they probably are manager, some of them, or supervisor or a boss or have some sort of authority uh, position, handle some sort of authority position, a manager, a supervisor in their company. I feel that, I kind of feel that with this uh, card, okay? The king of pentacles, there's someone that really care about their wealth, someone that is disciplined. So they're so disciplined even in their career, in their side hustle. This person probably start from zero. So I truly see uh, that some of them, okay, some of you, this knight of wands, there's someone that have a story of rags to riches from zero to hero, someone that truly changed the, the trajectory of their life. Now, the funny thing is they have Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the card where this person holds the key to the universe, holds the key to the knowledge. There's someone that is so wise because they have value in their mind. Swords is about a mind. It's about how you think. And Ace of Swords is the beginning of knowing something. So this personality of this person, someone that love learning something new, even they love learning about you, someone that have this high curiosity. So they're so curious as a person. There's someone that have a great analytical mind. They love analyze something or it's also related to their job. Maybe there's someone that has a job to analyze some things, but I truly see with the Ace of Swords, there's someone that have this knowledge and love to share it. They hold the key to the knowledge, to the universe, and their mind is actually very mesmerizing. You're probably falling in love with this person with their mind first, with the way they think, the way they talk, the way they see the world, and their approach to the to life in general. Group number three. You know, the star, they're actually very popular, a little bit popular, not because of their look, but because of their charisma, because of how they treat other people. There's someone that can influence people easily. This is their personality, okay? Um, there's someone that truly can give hope to people and you kind of like having hope to this relationship. They kind of know that they're the star in your life. They know it. I think for some reason, for some of you, okay, not all of you, they know that they're the star. Now about the star itself, there's someone that achieved a big things in their life and it's miraculous because with their experiences, with their past time, with their upbringing, sometimes it was just not setting up for like that for them, okay? but they never give up. So their background maybe is from lack of family, lack of something. So when they achieve something, they're so proud of it. Just proud of what they achieve, not being cocky, but just being so happy that they can have a better life. Genuinely happy. So there's someone that also gonna be happy with your progress. This is someone that gonna cheer you up on the road to success. This is someone that gonna help you and uh, doing act of service for you and helping you achieve your own dreams and desire. They probably have their moon in Virgo or have some very strong Virgo in their birth chart. But also maybe their sun sign or their uh, rising sign is in the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there's this combination between fire sign and earth sign for this group particularly for this group. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but probably their their action, their attitude look like the fire sign and look like the earth sign, the combination of it. You know, they're passionate, they're daring, they're devil, and they're such a funny person. So I probably will not be surprised if you're falling in love with this person because they're funny, they're witty, and they're such a joy to be around because that's who they are. That's a knight of wands. That's their personality. That's what their core energy and how they attract people naturally to their element. There's someone that love cars, honestly, and they love looking good, okay? They don't have to have nice cars, but it's just modern car, or they understand about car, or they truly understand about good quality product. Someone that also very smart, witty, intelligent, and funny. Ten of Cups, they really want to have abundance life. They want to share abundance. This is someone that is so generous. That's their personality. 
okay someone that is generous now i don't know whether they're playboy or a player or not i don't know okay because it seems like they're such a very charming person really know how to treat uh, their romantic interests their crush their spouse their partner they really know how to pamper someone they really know it it's just in their dna <laughs> okay they just know it but basically they want to share what they have ten of cups they're like the source of joy for even their friends there's someone that is so generous they want to help people in need because they realize that they have more than enough that they've been blessed by more than enough that's their personality maybe you don't understand or you don't realize it because it's hidden from you it's something that you don't discover but here we're going to find out here all of it okay this is still about their personalities so i truly see also that with the knight of wands this is someone that not gonna be afraid to tell you that they love you so they're not gonna keep it inside if they like you they're gonna show it even through action act of service or even words they're gonna ask you out they're gonna pursue the relationship they're gonna be so assertive and taking action because they have a very strong fire element in their birth chart okay sun moon rising um jupiter venus north node south node mars okay now, probably their Saturn is in the Earth sign or their um, Neptune is in the Earth sign. That's possible. With the appearance of the water sign a little bit here, Three of Cups, I kind of feel that their Pluto is... Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Ten of Cups, the water sign. I kind of feel that their Pluto is in the water sign, though. It a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for their Pluto, okay? doesn't have to be that way, but this is just... For some of you please be mindful this is general reading so just take what resonates and leave uh, the rest behind now let's find out how your knight of wands feel you or perceive you okay For my viewers that pick group number three, how do men perceive you? How your knight of wands perceive you? Please, for viewers that pick group number three. You have <laughs> freedom. Look, I even open it like this. Okay? They want to be free to explore this romantic relationship. They truly feel some sort of romantic attraction. Regardless of the dynamic of relationship that you have with this person, they want to be free to explore you, to enjoy you, to make love with you. Healthy space and room to breathe, okay? They want to have the freedom to get to know you. They perceive you as someone that is adorable, sexy, and love being free. Life partner. Ooh, group number three. They perceive you. This knight of ones perceive you as a life partner. Someone that truly have this potential to be their life partner. Someone that uh, have this romantic connection. They have some sort of romantic interest in you. Your romance is stable and ready to go to the distance. So yeah, some of you probably in a long distance relationship with this person. Or they just believe that you can go the distance together. You can take things seriously, okay? You are someone that they can consider as a life partner. You have what it takes to be a great life partner yourself contentment they perceive you as someone that truly content you have this calm energy about you that they like so they perceive you as someone that truly content in your element believe in the universe in the divine in heaven they really like and love that you are such a calm person have a calm energy okay maybe you maybe you're loud maybe you are colorful maybe you're just you know witty and funny but you also have a calm energy you really know how to make other people secure and calm 
home being with you that kind of like feeling is so content bring some sort of contentment into a relationship that's what they like also from you that's what i see here uh, from this group group number three okay from you that's how your knight of wands perceive you as someone that is content someone that is sexy and beautiful but your beauty is just like very content very calm you know someone that uh, you you probably don't know that you're beautiful or sexy but that's you that's you are they perceive you as someone that is sexy and beautiful but you're like so innocent you don't know about it keep an open mind they perceive you as someone that wants to keep an open mind to relationship okay your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation so for some of you not all of you okay some of you this person might not be your usual type but they're more than likely your soulmate you know we probably have more than one soulmate you know and it depends on us which one that we gonna decide to be our soulmate but this someone this knight of ones probably from the outside not the one that like you usual your usual type okay but deep inside their heart they have the, the this personality of the knight of ones past life relationship this group ooh, group number three i feel that if you believe in past life they kind of feel and perceive you as the past life connection someone that they have known before maybe in high school maybe in childhood or even in past life if you believe in past life if they believe in past life they perceive you as someone that they love in past life maybe you don't you guys didn't have any change to be together they really want to pursue you again so they gotta change this time to court you to pursue you to pursue this romance okay playfulness yes <laughs> you can have like same vibes with them very playful generally you're very playful group number three they perceive you as someone that is playful to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so regardless of your age and regardless of your gender regardless of your profession and your background or culture they perceive you as someone that is uh, funny someone that is uh, playful they can play with you they can be themselves with you you know they don't have to pretend to be serious all the time but they can let loose and just enjoy the time to be together so they truly see you as someone that is playful look at this it's very romantic okay very playful you can truly relate with this group it's so funny courage by shining brave and true and bright my courage now returns this night i think this group this person in the personality in on the first part of the reading he got um the strength card okay which is courage the symbol also courage now at the same time they perceive you also as someone that has courage so i think you guys have a little bit similarities that's possible in the case of twin flame you don't have to always have the same sign but it's just your approach of life uh, you're being playful you have a courage you shine so bright you know you believe in your dreams you have a courage to pursue your desire you are someone that gonna speak up and just gonna you know try to make your dreams come true so they truly see some of the personalities some of the qualities that they possess you have it but in the in the in the in another version of course because you and them are a different personality different person okay but i truly see that how they uh, perceive you as someone that is a brave courage have a courage to pursue your desire your dreams okay group number three king of pentacles Pshaw. we got that earlier in the first part of the reading okay they perceive you as someone that is ambitious too you're such a hardworking person now it is possible that this person will be a great business partner if you build a business together even though small business they have creative ideas even to help you build your own business they're a very supportive person supportive partner have a potential to be a very supportive partner that can uh, help you to achieve your dreams maybe they also gonna help you with finance um, help you with uh, house chores someone that is helpful so i truly see he's a, such a gentleman but he's also helpful as a person in general okay they truly perceive you as someone that um 
so ambitious also in your dreams at least have some sort of ambition or desire to make your dreams come true and so then they want to help you so that's their personality also with the knight of wands they want to help you and you have a they perceive you as, as the king of pentacles so they also see some sort of masculine side of you so probably you have feminine energy but you also have a little bit masculine or you almost balance with your masculine and feminine okay you have a defined timing yes they have uh they perceive you as someone that come at the right time come from the divine if this is divine connection okay they really enjoy their time with you they truly cherish it they see this is a divine connection forever young playfulness yes 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 look at this forever young forever young i wanna be forever young a song of youthful playfulness and playfulness this is synchronicities group number three it's telling me that their personality is someone that is playful and your personality is so playful so the way to their heart is by jokes by having fun by laughing together traveling together and just enjoying each other company and just being silly being fun have this youthful vibe so that's uh what i truly see uh from this group wow very impressive reading beautiful group number three this reading is pretty general reading okay if you want private reading personal reading just for you please click the link in the description box below you can book me for private personal reading for you uh, please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching group number three and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye